Welcome to Ethical Hacking with NetScan Tools Pro. In this module, we'll focus on ARP scanning. NetScan Tools Pro is available online at www.netscantools.com, and it provides a collection of must-have tools for network security, administration, training, internet forensics, or law enforcement internet crimes research. ARP scanning is used to locate all local hosts, even firewalled hosts, that won't respond to normal pings. ARP scanning offers a rapid scan process and you can adjust the rate if you wish. In addition, when you do ARP scanning you're using minimal bandwidth and it uses the natural protocol behavior because ARP should never be blocked on a network. First of all it's important to know that ARP scanning is a local discovery process only. ARP packets are non-routable packets. They don't have an IP header they can't go past a routing device, so they can only go as far as a broadcast domain. If you wanted to discover all of the devices on this side of the router, ARP scanning is an excellent way to do that. If, however, you wanted to discover the devices over on network 10.2.0.0, you can't use ARP scanning from 10.1.0.0. You have to move to that network. ARP scanning will find firewalled hosts that won't respond to ICMP echo requests because they use a natural ARP process. You make an ARP query and the server would answer back to ARP, although it may not answer back to ICMP. Here I am at the command line. I'm going to ping a device on the network that I know is there, 192.168.0.108. I'm trying to use ping to discover that device, but my requests are timing out because that device has a firewall that doesn't answer back to my ICMP echo requests. Now let's take a look at a device that does respond to ping packets. I'll ping 192.168.0.1. Here we can see I get back a reply from that device, so I can use ping to discover that device, but not 108. Now I'm in NetScan Tools Pro. I'm going to go to the Tools selection and I'll open up the tools group and the tool I'm interested in is ARP so I will select that. I've already selected do ARP scan and NetScan tools shows me the IP interfaces that are recognized. If I had more than one interface I could select it off the drop-down list and if I wish I could increase the packet delay in milliseconds maybe up to 20. In this case I'll leave it at 2 milliseconds. On the bottom left hand side NetScan Tools puts in the starting IP address and the ending IP address for the network that I'm on. It knows this based on my network mask and my network address. Now I click ARP and NetScan Tools will locate all of the devices on this network and list them out as well as their hardware address and as well as the manufacturer ID based on that hardware address. Notice that 192.168.0.108 was discovered using NetScan tools. 